Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker, and I stand to support this special motion, uh, the motion that regarding Ashagwa, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, should go home. Honorable Speaker, we can, we, I can remind this House that during the swearing-in ceremony at Kasarani, the Deputy President humiliated Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta so badly before the nation and, and the visiting dignitaries in the Republic of Kenya. That was not enough, Honorable Speaker. After three months, he started attacking young people in Mount Kenya region, calling them Mongeki, to an extent of attacking Maina Jenga and calling him the leader of Mongeki, Honorable Speaker. Later, Honorable Speaker, he was not comfortable and satisfied with that. He went ahead to refer to the members of parliament from Mount Kenya region as Gakonia and Kunda Gotome and, uh, and Komereras, Honorable Speaker. That is not acceptable, Honorable Speaker, because we all come from the same region and we are elected by the people. He went ahead, Honorable Speaker, to attack Raila Odinga and the Azimio, and the Azimio Fraternity and saying that he has put Mitego so that they will not enter State House. Instead of, and he was supposed to put Mitegos so that they don't enter Karen residence because he's not a president. Honorable Speaker, I want to say that we do not have two centers of power in the Republic of Kenya. We only have one president, and the sentiments of Rigadi Gashagwa that they were elected together with President William Ruto is a lie. The person who was elected is the president. Gashagwa was just a running mate, and there were no votes for a running mate, Honorable Speaker. Finally, yesterday during a press briefing, the Gazi Gashagwa referred to this Honorable House as a theater of the absurd. And he's coming to uh, this uh, same house today. I don't know whether you are going to compel him to substantiate if he's coming to a theater or parliament of Kenya. With that, Honorable Speaker, I'm saying Gashagwa must go. Karoli Omondi.